Hello everyone, I am Siddharth Kanuja of Thapar University, who along with Purvanshi Mehta and Shres Kapoor have made this capstone project. The name of our research project is Dilton. I'll first give you a very brief idea about why we made this project. In a 2004 poll conducted by AOL Media and an Associated Press, 4 in 10 Americans said they hated maths. Although the associated figure for India is not known, we expect it to be much higher. This leads to the very obvious conclusion that the majority of the students do the maths homework since it is expected of them and not because they find maths interesting. This is a problem often faced by teachers and curriculum designers, but it is most often found in math students. Sometimes this can even lead to a pathological hatred for maths and leads to them asking questions like, why should I study maths? If I need to do calculations, then I have a calculator for that. Our speculation is that people are unable to visualize maths, which is why they find it too abstract for their liking and develop a frustration for it. We plan to help them by solving the math problems for them and helping them visualize it. Next, we explain how the project works. We collected a data set of 1500 problems for simple interest and around the same number for operation prediction from various sources such as aptitude sites, 6th grade and 7th grade series in ICIC books, online tutors and so on. Next, I detail how we solve various categories of problems. The first is simple interest. First, we found the 13 most common categories of problems using the Natural Language Toolkit or NLTK for short. The next step was to find all the quantities in the problem which was accomplished using SPACI, an industrial level NLTK toolkit. Then, we proceeded to find the quantity which was asked in the question. This was again done through NLTK. The next step was finding the pattern of the question and finding the, most, uh, the pattern from the 13 most common patterns that matched it the most. We then applied formulae depending on the question asked and the quantity given to find the solution. The next category is operation prediction. We first pre-processed the question using Keras. The question was then removed of any irrelevant quantities. We then separated the question into two parts, one containing the facts or the story and one containing the question or the world state. We then extracted the quantities and built a neural network that predicts the operations and then the final solution is computed. Our team has always been of the firm belief that actions speak louder than words. So we built a demo for the project that is hosted on DigitalOcean. The user is treated to a website that is purposefully kept as minimal as possible. We built this site using Bootstrap and Flask. The student first selects the category and enters his question. And then he can click on the solve button. So we see that in case of operation prediction, we have the question on the first line, the generated equation on the second line, and the answer, which obviously matches with the question on the third line. So that's all folks. Stay tuned because we have a lot in store for you.